you can use tape to mask out part of your paper. And I'm just using masking tape here. I've cut out some pieces and I've laid them over the top. You can tear it as well, but if you do that, I find the paint has a tendency to bleed underneath and you don't get a nice edge. So I recommend cutting it, but you can cut it into any kind of design. It can be curved, it doesn't have to be straight like this. You can make shapes, whatever you'd like to do. I'm just laying it down over the top of my paper and wherever I put the tape, um, that part of my painting will be white. It will be the color of the paper. I also have these little hole reinforcers that I'm putting on. You can use other kinds of stickers, anything that will stick to it, but will also be easy to remove. Works just fine. Laying those down. You can cut them. So then, next I'm going to flood this with watercolor paint. And before you start, make sure that you take the back of your fingernail or your finger and just go back over the tape to make sure that it is sealed. You don't need to press extremely hard, but just make sure all the edges are down. The first color, you're gonna end up using a bunch of colors. So the first one I'm going to do will be light. And then I'll have like subsequent layers that are darker. You can just wash it right over the top. And then you'll wanna let this dry for about 20 minutes or so until it's pretty dry. All right, so this is pretty dry, so now I'm going to do my second layer. I'm going to leave that tape on and the whole reinforcers and do a second layer of tape. You can do three layers if you'd like. You can do a bunch of layers, but for this, we'll just do two. Just remember to let it dry in between. So now wherever I put tape, that will preserve this greenish blue layer. Now I will put the second layer of paint on and I've mixed up a darker greenish blue. I want to have some contrast between the underlying colors. But you can go in any direction you want. You could doesn't have to be in the same color family. And now we have to let it totally dry before we take off the tape. All right, I've let it dry for a couple of hours. And we're gonna start peeling the pieces off. It's important that you work slowly. You can see here, I got some tear off because I wasn't patient. So take your time slowly peel the tape off like this. Just taking off the last few pieces. I did get a little tearing because I wasn't being very patient. You can see that right there. I can go back in with my watercolor and cover that up if I'd like to. And there it is. You made it through all the videos and now your piece is finished. Don't worry if things are a little out of order. That is no problem at all, as long as you have all 12 techniques on there. So the next thing we're going to do is take off the tape. The tape's been on there for a little while, so you wanna be really careful when you remove it so it doesn't tear the paper. So as I pull the tape, I'm pulling it to the side and flat along the paper, just like this. Really slowly pull it off of there. If you do that, you'll get a lot less tearing. Be patient, give yourself some time. Don't rush this part. 
If you're not happy with one of your techniques, you can always redo it on another piece of paper and then just cut it out and put it right over the top of whichever one you wanna replace. Do that before you take your photograph. All right, so I've taken off all the tape. I think it looks great. And I'm going to get a good photo. So you may notice that your paper bends, bends a little bit sometimes. And if you'd like to, you can lay it out like this, put a couple of pieces of masking tape underneath on just that end. That'll flatten it out so you can get a good photo. And then crop your photo so it just includes your 12 techniques and you're finished.